and good morning, math masters, you fabulous fourth graders of room 502. Welcome to Eureka Math with Mr. Leggett in the morning and friends. Um, we worked a little bit on this lesson before the winter break, so we're returning to it. And we're going to turn the page um, in our problem set. Let me see what page number this is. Wow, Mr. Guy, how's it going? Page 89. And today's date happens to be 01. 05. 2021. All right. Let's go ahead and remember you are copycats. I don't have my copycat stamp with me right now, but we do know that when we're on the problem set, we are indeed copycats. And remember, we're working on three digit dividends divided by divisors of two, three, or four, or five, with the remainders all over the place. So let's get started right away. Let's set this up as a place value chart, place value disk, excuse me. So Mr. Lake, it's got to be done by 7.59. So here we have our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. So we'll go ahead and set that up. Remember, you can always hit pause, you know, if things need to be paused. So we have two hundreds, seven tens, and five ones. So there we have it. Well, let's make our standard algorithm over here. We don't have enough room to do the step by step, but we'll do it step by step as we go along. Okay, first thing up, I have two hundredths. Can I divide those into three hundredths? No, I cannot. So we're going to decompose over here. And we're going to turn these hundredths into ten tens. And there we have that. So how many tens do we now have? We have 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Watch what happens. Watch the math magic in action. Remember, I couldn't divide the 200, so I'm just going to put the X there. Not a Eureka math thing to do. They don't recommend that, but I do. And I'm Mr. Leggett. So now we're stuck dividing 27 tens by 3. So... Let's think about what we're going to do here. In fact, I will make this a little bit longer so we have some room to divide. And we're going to make three spaces, right? One, two, and three. Now we're ready to divide. Okay, some of you might be thinking, well, 27 divided by three. Three times what is 27? You can go to your multiplication chart and see that. But let's, let's go ahead and do it the, the uh, Eureka way here. And we're going to start dividing by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So far, so good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's keep going. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Still some more threes to go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Look at that. Lo and behold, how many are in each uh, space here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So we know that three times 9, right? 3 times 9 equals what? 9, 18, 27. See how that worked? We took the 200s, brought them over to the tens column, like, like here. So then we divided 27 tens by 3. 3 times 90 equals 270. Now we're ready to subtract. Well, 0, 0, right? I don't need to put the zeros there. Then I can just go 
Boo! And bring that five down. All right. Let's divide five by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Looks like that's all we could do because we still have two up here, but three spaces down there. So we are done, kind of. So we say three times one is three, right? Three times one, one, two, three, all good. And we subtract. What's five minus three? Four, five, that would be two. So our remainder is two. R2, no D2. Let's go ahead and uh, do some multiplication to check. And that's where we take the quotient. The quotient, that's the answer to a division problem. And then we uh, multiply by the divisor. That's the number doing the dividing, which is three. And we would say one times three is three, right? We already know that. Then we know three times nine is 27. Nine times three, 27. That's 273. What? Well, wait, it's not the same as the dividend. Why not? Because we need to add the remainder. So we go plus two. Three plus two is five. Seven. 275, and it worked out absolutely perfectly. I'm impressing even myself in this endeavor. All right, let's uh, head on down to the next one. And um, we have 459 divided by 5. 459 is the dividend. 5 is the divisor. And we need to determine the quotient. All right, so this time around, we're just going to dive right in. Come on, we're going to dive right in and go right to the standard algorithm. So we have 459 divided by 5. And if you want to give this a shot, go ahead and hit pause, like Princess Yvonne would say. She would say pause, so you could pause the recording to see if you could do it on a... Did somebody say pause? Yes, I, I said it. You should have called me. You know I like to say pause. All right, well, go ahead and say it. Please pause the recording. Try your best. And check back later. Thank you, Princess Yvonne. Always appreciate her help. Well, I know 4 cannot be divided by 5, so we're going to put an X over that 4. But look what I have. 45. 45 tens. Hmm. Let's count by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 5 times what is 45? It's right there. 5 times 9 is 45. Time to subtract. Zero, zero. I don't need to put the zeros there. But we'll go boo and bring that 9 down. Well, how many 5s can I squeeze into a 9? How many 5s can I break out of that 9? Which is 1, right? 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So we would say 5 times 1 is 5. And we subtract 9 minus 5 is 4, and there is our remainder, remainder of 4. And notice, look back here, we have the same quotient, 91, remainder 2, and here we have 91, remainder 4. Kind of cool. Let's check with multiplication, and once again, you could pause and figure this one out on your own. We're going to do 91 times 5. If you need your multiplication chart, but you shouldn't because the answers are right here for you, go ahead and take that out. And you can go ahead and, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? What can you do? to uh keep you can pause thank you princess yvonne all right welcome back one times five is five nine times five is 45 we've already determined that we'll add on another five excuse me four is the remainder five plus four is nine and five and four 459 and it is the same as the dividend Okay, let's give another one a shot. We're going to multiply by 4. This one gives us a little more room, so let's go ahead and do it the Eureka way. What does Eureka mean in Latin or in English? It means I have found it. And what have we found? We have found the best way to learn math. So I'm going to make a place value chart. I'm going to make it kind of long so I have a little room to work with here. Maybe we can make those a line going. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Watch this. Boo! Looking good. So let's come on up here and we'll do the ones. Tens and hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? Looks like we have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. How many sevens do we have? I mean, how many tens? Well, I got seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alas, how many ones? Looks like we have eight. So there we have it. 
678. Now we can start dividing by 4. I'm going to need a little room here for the remainders, for the decomposing and all that good stuff. 1, 2, 3. Oh, what can I do here? Let's go right here. That's not much room in that one. But we'll make it work. Right? Right. Okay, so we're going to start dividing by 4. 4 is our divisor. And our dividend is 678. I want you to say that the rest of your math career is like that. Dividend. No, please don't. All right, so we're going to break away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Three and four. We have to decompose these two fellows over here. So we'll decompose this one. That 100 becomes 10 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This guy becomes 10 tens also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. So we go over here four times one, right? Four times one is four. One, two, three, four. Math magic, I tell you. Time to subtract. 6 minus 4, 5 and 6 is 2. Bring down that 7. Okay, so we're dividing 27 tens by 4. Let's get to it. I'm going to do it a little quicker way here. We're going to go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this is actually getting quick, quicker, but I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4. I guess I'm not making those silly little sounds when I do this. Uh, 1, 2, yeah, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you got to be careful about crossing out. One, two, three, four. And I like to make rows of fives. It's easy to count that way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And did I miss one out here? I think I did. We had crossed out one too many because we had 27. And... What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. I didn't cross them off one right there. That was one, two, three, four. So we have four left over, right? Mr. Leggett's eyes are getting worse and worse as the days go by, it seems. So four times six is what? Four times six is six, 12, 18, 24. We're ready to subtract, right? And so we have, um, not really messed Oh, no, I'm doing fine. There's our 30. Okay, well, 2 minus 2 is 0, 7 minus 4 is 3. Now we have to decompose 30 of these. That's a lot, okay? So all three of these are going to have to go over here. So that's 30 of them over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'll put some over here. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. See, learning the standard algorithm will save you from doing this, but this is a good way to show you what's what, right? So now, how many do we have here? Watch what happens. Bring that 8 all the way down. And I bet we have 38. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we're going to multiply, divide by 4. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 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 4. Wow. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. One, two, three, and four. That's a lot. And now what do we got here? Okay. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 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 2, 3, and 4. My goodness, it just keeps going. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 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 So it looks like we have 4 times 9. What's 4 times 9? Well, think about it, 9, 18, 27, 36. So that means we do have this the remainder of 2 right there. So 4 times 9 is 36. We subtract 3 minus 3, 0, 8 minus 6 is 6, 7, 8 is 2. So it looks like our answer is 169 remainder 2. Let's check it by taking the quotient 169 and multiplying it by the divisor 4. 9 times 4, 36. And you can pause this if you like. 
6 times 4, we know is 24, but plus the 3, we make 25, 26, 27. 1 times 4 is 4, but plus the 2 makes it 6. We're at 676. It's not the same as it is at dividend 678. What do we got to do? Got to add that remainder. We get 876, 678. And we know our division problem is correct. When you want to check your division, take the quotient and multiply it by the divisor. That is how you do it. Thank you so much. I know that was kind of a bit over uh, the time I wanted to go, but thank you for being so patient. Take a little break, and then you're going to come back for the student debrief. Talk about a few of the problems we did uh, yesterday and today. Okay. Gotta wait for it to hit record, and we. Uh...